Hello and welcome to the episode uh, 4.1, in which it's going to be a small video. I'm going to just um, showing you how to display this diminishing returns curve in order to make it more simpler and to make you understand better what, what's actually happening in the response investments. So what we're going to do is to get these alphas. I'm going to create a new model here. Uh, so we have alphas. I want to do, we have um, these values, basically. I'm going to copy these values. I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste them. Oh, this doesn't matter. Whatever. OK, so I'm going to transform everything just uh, just to show you what's uh, the diminishing return. So I'm going to do the same thing as in the previous video, Facebook transformed the diminishing return. Same thing with TV transformed. And radio transformed. OK, so equal this variable to the power of this coefficient, which was the best fit. So we're going to do this. We're going to perfect. We're going to do the same with the others. Drop down. Nice. All right. so. What we want to do now is to show what are the diminishing returns for each variable. So um, I'm going to insert a new graph here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use as the x-axis uh, uh, this variable here, Facebook. And in the y-axis, I'm going to insert Facebook transformed. All right, so what you can see here, let me see if I, no, all right. So what you can see here, this is actually a curve. We can do a trend line, series, trend line, or a square, and I want to be at power function. All right, so as you can see, this is a power function, and there are diminishing returns after after spending a little money. I mean, after spending uh, $175 per day, the, the marginal contribution on each dollar spent more has less return. And this overall, what happens in marketing is that your overall ROAS goes down, increasing budget. But what, what's actually happening is after a certain point on investment, the marginal contribution on each do new dollar, it's less than before. So. Let's copy, this is not TV, but Facebook. Facebook, I'm gonna copy everything, I'm gonna paste it, do the same thing for TV. So I'm gonna select TV variable here as the X axis, and I'm gonna, on the Y axis, I'm gonna put TV transformed. As we can see, there are same diminishing return. Um, there are always diminishing return, actually. But as we can see, we we get we we go from a two response. So it's actually how um, how many sales we're getting for this much spent to six. So diminishing returns are are different in this case. Let's do the same thing with radio. Radio, it's Pretty different, I think. They have a low coefficient. Radio transformed. All right, look at this. So they saturate really, really fast. So they go from zero to four transaction really quick in the first, uh, I would say, fifteen euro dollar spent, and then from to go, just to go from four to eight, we need to spend. like $50 more, at least $50 more. Maybe uh, it's actually $60 more. So from zero to four transaction, it just takes $15 investment. But to go from four to eight, we need $60 more. 
So that's what uh, diminishing return means. I'm going to leave it here, a radio, and radio transformed. And you're going to you're going to have this template, and I'm going to name it diminishing return curves. And we can do the same thing, actually. Yeah, let's do also uh, add stock and see graphically what add stock means. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Copy this one, drop it down to the 64th. Oops. That way, I'm going to copy it. Copy this one. Paste it in here. Oh, it doesn't paste, whatever. So I'm going to copy this one. Uh, diminution returns curve. Let's say and add stock. Perfect. It's kind of not really cute in here. It's not symmetrical. I don't like it. All right, I'll put it here. Now let's do the same thing with add stock. Perfect. We need the beta. And the beta we got are these ones. Perfect. So let's do the same thing. We have the Facebook transformed. Um, But uh, I just actually for this experiment, in this example, I'm just gonna need the first row. I won't need the next ones. So I'm gonna do TV transformed and radio transformed. So as we as we said before, we're gonna need equal the first row and then the next values over time will be the function before so add stock at t minus one times beta which would be with we're gonna block it uh plus how much we spend now which is zero so i i did it i canceled the other variable just to show you what's the curve. So let's do this. All right. Let's do this. Check it. Perfect. It works. All right. So I'm going to do it for 11 weeks. I'm going to create a graph. Same thing here. Insert graph. All right. So XX, I'm going to select everything here just for the purpose of doing everything fast. All right, so time is the X axis, which is really good. I'm going to remove sales. I'm going to remove Facebook, add on one TV, add on one radio. I just want to show you what Facebook transform with the ad stock means. I'm going to do a scatter plot. All right, and I'm going to do a trend line. Trend line with actually this one. Mm. It's not really cute. I'll do. Uh, I want. I want to do scatter plot. I will do this one. All right. So makes way more sense. Move. This is the ad stock for Facebook. Let's do the same thing. So what? This is the effect over time on marketing investment or like. It still gets some percentage of sales after in, in week three. So after two weeks since the first investment, since the investment, it gets, it continues getting some percentage of sales. So let's copy it. Do the same thing for TV. I want TV transformed here. Look at that. The ad stock for TV is lower than uh, the Facebooks. Let's do the same thing for radio. Configuration to be transformed. I want radio. All right. So it's for radio and Facebook are really similar. 
so it would defect over time. But uh, TV has a stricter uh, effect. So it, this is very interesting. All right, so this is overall what um, this is the, the study behind diminishing returns. Once you have the coefficient, you can graph it so you can understand better what's the effect over time for each channel. And you can actually approximate and learn a little better how it's gonna affect an investment and how long it's gonna take to get results for each channel investments. Um, thank you for your attention. In the next video, we're gonna cover uh, what I promised I promised you last video, uh, how to create a simulator that can simulate various scenarios and help us understand how to minimize ROI or how to maximize ROAS in our, in our market mix. So thank you and see you in the next episode. Bye.